Mike's noodle. It's like it's meant to be. So brisket dry and the wonton soup. I got two bowls of noodles. I got the soup noodle, wonton noodle, and I got the dry noodles with beef flank. And of course, some hot oil. Oh yeah. Well, oh, that's just what I've been missing. This, oh, the wonton noodles. Some of the best things I've had in Hong Kong. Oh, that's so good. The soup is so good. Mmm, very shrimpy, crunch from the spring onions. Super signature of what authentic wonton noodle soup should be. And the wontons are a little big sized. Mmm, very good. Inside, big piece of shrimp, mushrooms, wood ear. Very, very springy. I'm gonna give you a ton of noodles here. I'm kind of gonna switch out between the dry noodles and the soup noodles. Magically tender. The dry noodles are so beefy. If I could every single day wake up to these two beauties for the rest of my life, wouldn't complain. I mean, I might cheat on them a little bit with some hot power dumplings, but mostly it'd be a happy relationship. I'm so glad I got both though, because the dry noodles are good, but I really love that soup. definitely one of these soups that kills your soul a little bit every time you take a sip and overall just makes your day better or is it worse because this could be the best food I eat all day and just gets more and more depressing from here if you have something really good it kind of puts a positive tone on your day I feel like my day's gonna be like a 9 out of 10 this is also 100% my type of food because it's got my name all over it <laughs> sorry I mean little Saigon I need a after some soup, there's a need, not even a craving, like like a need for bami. Ah, this is it. This place is awesome. They bake their own bread. Thank you. I bet you. And I have like a sixth sense on this stuff. This might be some of the best bami I've had outside of Vietnam. I'm so excited about this bami. I'm not gonna eat it yet because I, I gotta things gotta be perfect i'm one of those people that like i don't want to start eating until i have everything in front of me even when i'm at home i want all the condiments i want all the hot chilies like i want everything within reach before the magic happens because eating good food to me is like an event it's an occasion it's like a big date you want to set the mood you know so right now the mood is not set yet we're missing one little thing I just wanted some broth, but they didn't sell just the broth. Uh, had to go and get a full order of pho. Not really upset though. One more thing is needed for this magical meal to be complete. One more thing. So I ran into a family that owned a bubble tea place and they told me about it. And I never heard of this concept before. It's like a, it's like a buffet style DIY bubble tea. And I think I'm in the uh, university area or university district or whatever this is called. Looks like a lot of good food places around here. Is he missing all his teeth because he drank too much bubble tea? Kids, don't be like that. This is John, the owner. I met his family in Chinatown. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna grab one of these and just fill it up. There's a lot of flavors here. Strawberry, mango, green tea, oolong, taro. Oh my, okay, so I'm gonna go for rose. I'm gonna mix rose with a little peach. with a little Yakult. And then I am going to put some green tea in there to lower the sugar level. Toppings, oh my God. Normally I don't add boba to my, uh, to my drinks, but since it's kind of like almost free, I guess, Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, the setting is complete. Let's go find a place to eat. Couldn't 
find place to eat outside and it was getting hot, so basically heat and paranoia uh, brought me back to my own kitchen. I'm gonna eat with my little little dumpling guys. So you guys seen these things sitting behind me for a while now in a lot of my videos. They've been sitting there for like months. But let me introduce you. So I've been trying to set up a, a new store uh, with a new company. The plushie is now back in stock, as well as these dumpling slippers. So uh, the new store is open. I'll put the link down below if you want to grab this, this. Oh, I also have, ah, oh, I sent it out as a gift. Dumpling socks, dumpling bag. Check it out down below. Really cute stuff. Dumpling face max are coming. And now the only thing I can make this even better and why I made the extra trip, dump it in some pho broth. Trust me guys, if you want to maximize the flavor of your bami, get a side of pho broth to dunk it in. When the bread is also soaking up that great beefy flavor from the broth, combined with the ingredients inside the sandwich, mm, your taste buds will be rejoicing. Mm, 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 mm. Got two of these bamis. Trust me, when you go into a good bami shop, one is never enough. I just realized something. I think they gave me the wrong order. I didn't order, I was like chicken. I didn't order a chicken. I remember ordering like a like a grilled beef and a pork. Maybe this is right, this is grilled beef. Mm. I don't think you can possibly get a bad sandwich from this place. I really don't think so. Mm. And that broth. I love Fobax's broth. What a satisfying breakfast one and two. I'm so happy like Mike's Noodle House opens at like 9 a.m. Breakfast noodles. And then after that, hit the second breakfast at this Bami place. Stop by Fobax, get some broth. And then chase it with some bubble tea. I didn't have a straw, so I'm going to just pour it out to my mug. <sighs> DIY bubble tea. That is a great start to my day. All right, I'm going to get some work done. And then... uh. I'm in a special place, I'm going for lunch. Buffet bar, now we have an entrance and an exit only to our buffet. At the beginning of our buffet, we have a hand sanitizing station, and then we also have one-time use gloves, and then one tong per person. With that one tong, uh, you're gonna get all your veggies, all your seafood, and all your noodles. And once you're done with it, you could just go ahead and put your used gloves and your used tom into this bin oh, right okay. here. Oh, okay. Oh, nice, nice. I Beyond like that. Beyond this point, everything else is in uh, containers. Use a UV wand to, to clean. To sterilize every... Uh, all the plates. All the utensils and anything that uh, you might, uh, you know, consume with. Nice. Go ahead and get you some plates right here. So I guess I'll skin it. All right, so some appetizers, flaky pancakes, rice bowls. For broth, there's kombu, sukiyaki, soy milk. Ooh, interesting. And then we have the spicy miso, premium rich wagyu. I think this is American wagyu beef, premium lean wagyu, kurobuda. And then the house course is house rich beef. Yeah, definitely going for the wagyu. Some sushis as well. All right. First thing I got for you, this is a very popular dish that you have here. This is called a cold brew matcha green. Cold brew matcha. That's always happy. Absolutely. And uh, there's a uh, filter that's already in the top. Uh -huh. so all you have to do is give it a little shake. Oh, nice. I just got dispense. Yes. Yeah, that, that makes me happy just seeing that being poured out. That's the premium Wagyu. That is the premium Wagyu, that is the brisket. Yeah. Uh, and this is the uh, premium uh, Wagyu short plate. So nice. that is our ridge. This is our Kuroboda pork belly. Uh -huh. And we have our Kuroboda shoulder.
the sauce station. Sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic, Thai chilies, cilantro, roasted sesame sauce. Chef special is a uh, sweet and spicy sauce. Yeah? Yeah. Take so one of these. Nice. Ah, ponzu. Love some ponzu. Ah, some kimchi, pickle vegetables. So I'm adding some soy sauce, some house-made sauce, sesame oil, sesame paste, garlic, Thai chilies. First of all, I haven't been at a, like a buffet setting since this lockdown began. And I always wonder like, what would it look like? And I know a lot of you guys were curious too. So yeah, I'm, I'm still nervous being out. I'm sure a lot of people are, but I feel like this place really took all the precautions it can to keep everybody safe. And I've actually walked out from places that I just didn't feel really comfortable at. All right, this broth is really simple. Is their house broth. This is the kombu. You can smell the fish, the dashi radiating from this. And I got six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight places of meat. So you can come here, you can get like the, 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 the special, the premium set of meat, which that's the reason I found this place. They, they serve American Wagyu um, with the shabu and they also have the house meat. But this, oh, this looks so pretty right here. This is slabs of Wagyu brisket. And tell me, that is not a thing of beauty. Marbling coursing through every slab of meat. Beautiful speckles of white coursing through the meat like a snowstorm. This is the Ling Wagyu, but even the Ling Wagyu looks like it's got a lot of nice marble into it. Look at this, fat, lean, fat. I love it when my meat is surrounded by fat, layered by fat, invaded everywhere by fat. I just really like fat. Is, is that a fetish? Broth is heating up. Fatty Wagyu. Oh, that's a big piece too. Eating that bite, it's like watching an episode of Scrubs. Can't even help it. Just automatically puts a smile on your face. And also, big props on this broth. This is amazing. Like, it looks really simple. And I was kind of opting for the spicy miso. But man, this broth is delicious. Mm. Pretty much don't even need dipping sauce. This broth, perfect with the meat. Usually, shabu broth is not something I love. But this... That is delicious. Get that when you come here. If I had nothing else and just give me this, I'll be pretty happy. I mean, now that I've seen the Wagyu, you can't do that. But if I didn't know and just give me the soup, wouldn't be mad about that. Great flavor of the dashi. Hints of kelp. Oh, like steam me, please. Ah, I feel like something this good must be good for you if you breathe it in. At least it makes you hungrier. And we haven't even got started on how good that piece of beef is. American Wagyu is gonna be a lot leaner and a lot less marbling than Japanese A5 Wagyu, but still you get that great beefy flavor, plenty of melt in your mouthness. And even this one, this is the lean Wagyu. Mm. That was really fun because it slurps like a noodle and melts like butter. This time though, get my sauce involved. I feel like I have a sixth sense when it comes to making sauce. Now I can put new sauce ingredients in front of me. I still make it taste good. Uh, that's great. Wow, something I don't experience a lot in Chinese hot pots is a crunchy garlic. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. Thing cooks in under six seconds. Do not ever want to overcook your Wagyu. Mm. Oh, ponzu and a dipping sauce. I feel like that should be a requirement. That's one thing I do love about Japanese shop. It's always a plenty of ponzu sauce. Mmm. Oh, matcha, no sugar. That's my preferred drink. I don't like matcha and milk. I don't like matcha with sugar. I just like a cool, refreshing matcha drink, which this is. Mm. So far, funner than my first day at Disney. And I love Disney. See, my strategy at a hot pot in the beginning is always add the stuff to my broth that doesn't really go soggy. You can add that in early and just let it cook. So whenever you need a bite of something other than meat, 
I don't know why you would, but they'll be there for you. If you see scallions on the buffet when you go to an all you can eat hot pot or something, add that in. The scallion will make that broth even better. Fish cake is always good. One thing I can't wait to do is drink this broth after everything that's been cooking in here. Hi mom and dad, I know you're watching, so look, I'm eating my vegetables. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I love eating vegetables. Some of you might be looking at my pod and, and kind of smacking your head because you feel like it's too crowded and it's not doing any social distancing at all, but I got a confession to make. I'm, I'm a hot pod dumper, so I like dumping everything. I'm not a dipper, I'm a dumper. So I just like to dump everything in. I hate waiting, all right? I, I want it done. I want it done yesterday. I want it cooked and be ready to be in my mouth at a moment's notice. All this stuff is gonna sit in here. I'm gonna eat the greens first because that's gonna get soggy if I don't. Then the rest of the stuff, it's gonna flavor up my soup. And when I dunk the meat in, it's gonna make that taste even better. Not just another face. Like inside here, 50% hot pot strategy and like 50% dumplings, something like that. I'm telling you this broth makes this vegetable experience so much better. Mm. I 100% swear by this broth. Also, veggies are extremely fresh. That's another reason I really like shabu places. Really quality ingredients. This stuff, I love. Not only is the texture amazing, zero calories, no joke, and it tastes delicious. I call it magic noodle. I'm pretty sure these were Harry Potter's favorites when he was back in Hogwarts. Why do you think Harry and Hermione were able to stay so thin even though they stuffed their face with candy every other day? Conjack, the noodle of wizards. You know how I love dumpling and I love hot pot, but dumpling in hot pot, it's just the ultimate dumpling. Mmm, when you come here, definitely try their house-made pickle veggies. So far, loving this place. This is the Kurabuda pork. Some people are not a fan of pork or hot pot, and I don't understand you people. This is the beef you get that's not on the premium menu. Still looks good though. They cut their meat very, very thin, which is really important for tenderness. And it looks like this will be a fairly lean piece. Obviously not as good as the Wagyu, but still very tender. But seriously, if you're coming here, get the Wagyu. That's so tender. The thought of that very well may put me to bed tonight. That tastes just like a lullaby. Every cut though, sliced perfectly thin. I'm not gonna get a bad bite of meat here. For a while, I'll be eating hot pot alone because of this whole social distancing thing. But when I'm sitting here, surrounded by all these plates of meat, I feel like I'm eating with friends that I will eventually eat. We're temporary friends. The moment I've been waiting for. The soup has been cooking for a while. Oh yeah. Oh, that's even better. Oh, this is so good. You always end hot pot with a little bit of noodles. Beef noodle soup. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna compliment this broth for like the 20th time. This has definitely satisfied my hot pot craving. I mean, I like making hot pot at home, but I hate cleaning it up, you know? And I don't really tend to make a super luxurious broth. And that's why I really like eating hot pot at restaurants. All the noodles soaked in that great broth as well. It's like a hot pot broth sponge. That's why you always, always in a hot pot meal with some noodles. All right, we're gonna forgo the customary post hot pot bubble tea. Oh, such a good food day. Started off fantastic and basically ended with fireworks. Such a great all you can eat shabu place. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. And again, I really appreciate the effort they go through to try to keep the place as clean as possible, disinfecting everything, making the diners feel safe. For someone as paranoid as me, that was really appreciated. As always guys, all the places I went to, listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.